Do you know what pride is? It's when you put yourself first and think you're better than other people, and it can have bad consequences. Did you know that there was someone in the Bible who struggled with the problem of pride? Let's go find out what happened. It takes place after Esther became queen of Persia. I want to help tell the story. So do I. That's fine. You can both help. Now, as I was saying, after Esther became queen of Persia, the king promoted a man named Haman above all the other princes in the land. The king's servants bowed down to Haman as the king commanded them to. But there was one man who wouldn't bow. This man's name was Mordecai. And when Haman found out that Mordecai wouldn't bow down to him, he was furious. He wanted Mordecai dead. Haman had a problem with pride. He thought he deserved to be treated better than others and have people bow down to him. But Haman didn't just want to kill Mordecai. Mordecai was part of a group of people called the Jews. And Haman decided he wanted to have all of the Jews killed. So Haman went to the king. He told the king there was a group of people who didn't keep the king's laws and that they should all be killed. Do you know what the king did? He told Haman to do whatever he thought was best. Haman sent a message out to all the kingdom that on a certain day, all the Jews were to be killed. Oh no, would Haman get away with his plan? But there was one person who might be able to save the Jews. Who? Esther. Hey, can I be Esther? Yes, you can be Esther. Why does she get to be Esther? I want to be Esther. She's Esther, all right. So why was it that Esther might be able to save the Jews? You see, I had a secret. I'm a Jew too. When I became queen, Mordecai, my cousin, instructed me not to tell anyone that I was a Jew. But now Mordecai gave Esther a copy of the decree to kill the Jews and told her to go to the king and ask him to stop Haman. But no one could go to the king without being invited, not even the queen. Anyone who went before the king uninvited would be killed unless the king held out his golden scepter to them. If Esther didn't do anything though, was there anyone else who would save her and her people? So I sent a message to Mordecai. Tell Mordecai to go gather all the Jews who are present in the city and fast for me. Neither eat nor drink for three days, night or day. My maids and I will fast likewise. And so I will go to the king, which is against the law. And if I perish, I perish. After three days, Esther went before the king. The king held out his golden scepter to me. My life was spared. Then he asked me what it was I wanted. I invited him and Haman to a banquet which I had prepared. At the banquet, the king again asked me what my request was. I told him and Haman to come again to the banquet tomorrow, and I would tell him. Haman left the banquet that day feeling very prideful. He thought, Queen Esther invited no one but me to come with the king to the banquet she prepared. He must have thought it was because he was more important than other people. But he still wasn't happy about Mordecai. Haman didn't want to have to wait any longer to have him killed. So he had gallows built that he could hang Mordecai on the next day. And that very night, he went to the king to ask permission to kill Mordecai. But that night, the king couldn't sleep. So he had someone read to him the book of records, where important things that were happened were written down. The part that was read to him told about how Mordecai had once saved the king's life by telling the king about two men who wanted to kill him. The king found out that nothing had been done to thank Mordecai. Nothing. And just then, Haman arrived. The king asked him, what shall be done for the man whom the king delights to honor? Haman was so prideful, he thought, whom would the king delight to honor more than me? So he told the king all these wonderful things that should be done. When Haman was finished, the king told him to go and do everything he'd said for Mordecai. Wait, it wasn't for him? It was for Mordecai? Haman had to let someone else get what he wanted? I know how that feels. Hey. But Haman had to do what the king commanded. When he finished, it was time for him to go to the banquet that Esther had prepared for him and the king. <laughs> Why does she get to be Esther? I wanted to be Esther too. Well, it's because I can play Esther better than you. No, you can't. I can do a much better job of playing Esther. Well, I- Enough, you're all acting no better than Haman did. What? Haman had a problem with pride. He thought he was better than others. It was always putting himself first. And now you're thinking about yourselves and fighting over being Esther. But God doesn't want us to be prideful. Instead, he wants us to show humility. One way to do this is by putting others' needs first like Esther did when she risked her life to go before the king to try and save her people. I remember the Bible talks about that. In Philippians 2, 3 through 4, it says, Let nothing be done through selfish ambition or conceit, but in lowliness of mind, let each esteem others better than himself. Let each of you look out not only for his own interests, but also for the interests of others. So we should put others first by thinking about their interests and not just our own. 
Yeah, we weren't doing that when we were fighting. Yeah, we need to work on that. And you should probably finish the story. Yeah. So, where was I? At the banquet, the king asked Esther what her request was. This time, I told him, If I found favor in your sight, O king, and if it pleases the king, let my life be given me at my petition, and my people at my request. For we've been sold, my people and I, to be destroyed, to be killed, and to be annihilated. The king asked who would do such a thing, and Esther told him it was Haman. Then the king had Haman killed on the gallows that he had made to kill Mordecai on, and my people and I were saved. Unlike Haman, who was thinking he was better than others, you can show humility by putting others first and thinking of their needs before your own. If you're God's child, I want to challenge you this week to look for ways that you can put others first. Maybe you could let someone else go first in line, or let your friends and siblings pick what you play. And those are just a few ways that you can show humility by putting others first.